Odexing and deodexing. They're terms that we hear quite a bit when we're talking about custom ROMs. Some argue that one is better than the other, while others argue the opposite. What are they? What do they mean? Why do we have them? And which one really is better? That's what we're going to find out on today's episode of the Android Power User. Android apps are essentially stored in .apk files. And most of the time we consider those just standalone files, and a lot of times they are. Sometimes they're not. Some people also think that a .apk is an installer file. A little confusing there, isn't it? But for the purpose of this video, APKs are essentially Android packages. Plain and simple, okay? So let's move right along. We talked about how Android apps are not pre-compiled. They're not really raw code, there's some other bits to it, but they're not compiled in the traditional sense of the word, and not all of it. For example, some of the app, the most common bits and pieces to the app, are pre-optimized. Not necessarily compiled, but optimized. And I'll give you a hint, that's where the O from Odex comes into play, okay? So what we do is we go through and we we pre-optimize our apps so that they can be run, and by we, I mean developers and, and the, the system itself. End users, don't worry, all this is done for you, you don't have to worry about it. But it's pre-optimized for you so that the bits and pieces that you're going to be using are already there, they're already super fast, and while they're running, the rest of the stuff compiles and executes in the background. Lots and lots of advantages. Again, go back to those last couple episodes so you can see what they are. Now, if we didn't do this pre-optimization, things might be a little bit slow. They're not, and I'll tell you why, because there's other things that account for that. But what we do is we optimize these files, and that's what an ODEX is. So .odex is a file extension. It stands for Optimized Dalvik Executable. And this is a, it's a compressed file. It's very much like an EXE in Windows, except it's not truly pre-compiled like an EXE in Windows is, it's just pre-optimized. Now if you try and open up an ODEX file, you're not going to be able to read much because the optimization renders it looking something very executable-like or compiled-like. So the advantage to it is it saves space. Okay, it's, it's optimized, it's compressed, and it occupies less disk space. That's great, it means you can fit more apps on there. It's also pre-optimized so that it runs faster. It has all of the bits that are needed to bootstrap that application and get it up and running while that's doing its thing. Then other things that you need can be preloaded as you need them or, or just before you need them, which is an intelligence thing inside Android itself or inside the Dalvik itself. So the downside to ODEX files, it's a separate file. It's physically separate from the .apk, and the bits are not in the APK if they're in the ODEX. Why do we care? Well, if you want to go in and make a change, say you've got a file, uh, an app, that checks to see what phone you're using to make sure it's on the compatible list, and it does that inside the APK itself, or inside the app itself. If you've got a DODEX, or excuse me, if you've got a, an ODEX file, that setting is probably held inside that ODEX, and you can't get at it, you can't get to it. So you need to be able to deodex that file, de-optimize it, so that you can get at that setting, so you can change it to just ignore it, I know it works on my phone and everything's fine. Or if you want to swap out images inside the app, say you want to theme it, you want a dark theme, you want a green theme, you want a pink theme, if you want to be able to theme that app and switch out images, switching images is relatively easy, but not if they're stored inside an ODEX. Okay? So let's talk about DODEX. Most of the time when you hear the term DODEX, it's in the context of a custom ROM. And ROMers all over the place will say, mine's a DODEX ROM, yay! Okay, that's just fancy talk and say, good, that means I can do whatever I want with it and it's a custom ROM, so I should. I should be able to do that. Custom ROMs should be deodexed, plain and simple. If they're not, no big worry, but generally speaking, custom ROM, deodexed, one implies the other. 
So we've talked ODEX, we've talked DODEX. What about Zipalign? Does it have anything to do with this? No, not really. Oh, you want to know what it is anyway. All right, we can go ahead and do that. So let me read you straight from developer.android.com what zip align is. Bear with me just a minute. So zip aligning makes sure that all of an app's uncompressed data starts at a particular alignment relative to the start of the file. All right, I had to go back and read that because this is like the third take on trying to get that just right. Essentially, there's a lot of technical reasoning behind why they do this. It basically puts everything that needs to be aligned in a certain order in a certain place. It has to do with arrays and M maps and all kinds of stuff. I'll let you go out and read the article about it at developer.android.com. There is a link in this article, so make sure you head over to pocketnow.com and watch this. You'll have the link right there to that article so you can read all about it. Essentially, what zip aligning does is it allows the app to take up less space in memory by putting everything all nice together in alignment. It has to do with memory architecture and, and bit alignment and all kinds of stuff that we're just not going to get into. But before you release a custom app, developers, I'm talking to you, make sure you zip align it so that it takes up less space and it runs more efficiently and just works better with all of its neighbors, okay? For all of you end users, don't really worry about it. Now you know kind of what it is and what it does. And if you want to sound smart, you can always ask that guy who's writing an app, oh, have you zip aligned that? And if he comes back, oh yeah, absolutely done that. So great. It'll make you sound smart. Fair enough. DODEX. ODEX, zip aligning. There are all things that help Android apps work better, faster, and do all kinds of cool stuff. And now you know a little bit more about how and why they do that. If you like learning about this stuff and you like the Android Power user, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button down below. That helps share the video with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that. We'll have a link at the end of the video. That way you'll get the next episodes that are coming along with the other cool stuff that we're talking about at pocketnow.com. If you want to go back and watch the other stuff in the Android Power user series, I'll have a link for you there as well. Last but not least, Please, any comments that you have, any discussion that you want to add, clarifications, real world examples. If you're not watching this video at pocketnow.com already, please do that. Head over to, whoop, there's the link, the article at pocketnow, leave the comments over there. That's where we're going to try and keep the conversation so we don't have a conversation there and at YouTube as well. If that makes sense, it'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much. So. You're a little bit smarter today. Congratulations. We'll be working on getting that uh, Android Power User Diploma out to you by the end of the week. We don't have those, but if we did, we would. For Pocket Now, the Android Power User, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.